Thank you, cocktail. All right, I trust you. Squash on Thursday? Always. Wait a minute. I just realized what's happening here. Today is Malcolm's last day at home. He's leaving for college. It's clear now. I had to wait for three days in line to get these Yeezys. So that's what I'll sacrifice. My Yeezys. What's on the drinks menu? Uh, you really should not be down here right now. <laughs> Come on, uh, what have you got? Look, you can have a sip of this, but yeah. just a little. Alrighty. Seriously? <laughs> the network's gonna cut the show if you fuck up. In fact, I should fire you right now. But you won't, because I'm James Bramble. News extraordinaire. James? Come into my office. You know, she never realizes when she crosses the line. Why can't she let me screw up my life in peace? I could be trying to climb Mount Everest in a size or a swimsuit, going to collect the Nobel Peace Prize, and it still wouldn't be good enough. Just thinking how exciting this is. This is my first trip overseas. Oh, you're, you're an officer, aren't you? My brother's the captain in the shipping line. Already hasn't got a uniform like yours. I mean, I, I'm engaged. I, I, not, not to my brother, uh, to Derek, uh, back in New Zealand. So I dumped all his clothes on the front lawn and set fire to them, with the Armani suit right on top so he could see it burn. You didn't. It was the only way he'd get the message. But then I thought, hang on a minute, Ems. I've got to work with the guy. Any day now, he'll be director of nursing. You idiot. Like you've never done anything impulsive. Hi, I'm Jay. Before speaking again, please turn up all cell phones and electrical devices. Shh! I guess you are here to save me. What? To whisk me away from my miserable life of debauchery. And hey, keep living every day as if it was your last, because you've had such an extraordinary life so far. To Lucy! Oh!